Praying mantis. Praying mantis. So we found a praying mantis on the window. <laughs> Next hey, to our chickens. Chicken, 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 chicken. Just kidding, they're not our chickens. They're Tony and Angie's chickens. <laughs> Guys, we're supposed to be going to school, not on an adventure this morning. No! Man, how do these kids see this stuff? They're like, hey dad, there's a spider. Do you guys see the spider yet? Maybe if I do this. Oh, look, now you see the spider? You know you're about to touch it. Look at this big old web. I, I don't know right if the camera here. will pick that up, but that is so cool. Oh. Okay. See, Adventure it's time it's over. Moving, it's, moving. it's running away. getting ready for school here my name is Trevor well, welcome back to the Archivet YouTube channel last night we had quite the storm it's pretty pretty neat however we're gonna kick this morning off with asking you guys to click that red subscribe button are you sure then ask three of your friends as well because then we'll hit 3,000 or <laughs> 3,000 subscribers that'd be cool we'll hit 1,000 subscribers and right now we're on a on a kick to get to 1,000 subscribers because that is the only way that we're gonna be able to get this get this to grow. Did you walk into a spider web? Hey, you found one. Look, I told you. Look in the car, didn't I? Yeah, I did. They're always asking me, where's this? I'm like, well, did you check the car? Because, you know, you like to leave your stuff in there. Daddy. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. Um, I always um, ride the bike down. Yeah, and then I always get in spider webs. And then I just do one-handed, and I just pull them off. Because <laughs> normally only my face. You found another spider? Oh my gosh, we're on a spider kick because of the storm last night. So anyhow, today is Friday, September 3rd, no in our Jesus Calling devotional book, and Let the Do of My Presence Refresh my Your Mind and Heart. So many, many things, Eve, V, V for your attention, Vi, Vi for your attention in this complex world of instant communication the world has changed enormously since i first gave the command to be still and know that i am god however this timeless truth is essential for the well-being of your soul <clears throat> as dew refreshes grass and flowers during the stillness of the night so my presence re <clears throat> vitalizes re revitalized mind is able to sort out what is important and what is not in its natural condition your mind easily gets stuck on trivial matters like the spinning wheels of a car trapped in the mud the cogs of your brain spin impotently when you focus on a trivial thing <clears throat> as you start communicating with me about the matter your thoughts gain traction and you can move more on to more move on to more important things it's we're going to listen to the morning communicate the back of the window. communicate with me continually and i will put my thoughts into your mind what were you saying I, I, want, I want you to show them what I could drive and i want to show them something back here. here's what train service looks like in ny after I so you want to show them that you can drive and show them after school but show them back there what's on the window what's on the window show them. what's on the window come on hang on let me put this away week 
like I had talked about making a video to like bring new subscribers up. By the way, thank you for subscribing if you are new. Thank you to everybody that has already subscribed, even the very first subscriber, which happens to be my dad. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> so, anyhow, um, Arctic Vet. Man, what is it? What? Where did you come from? What's What's going on? Where are you going? And you know, I get this. I get this a lot. They're like, "Well, what's Arctic Vet?" So, Arctic Vet. You know, it, it started out with our very first Corvette, which you guys can see on the channel. We have some videos of it. However, this year I actually I sold it at the beginning of the year. Um, thanks, thanks to COVID and my situation, and the car was just sitting there, and I was kind of like, you know, I need, I need some money. I got some bills I gotta pay. I'm not working. Can't get a job. So I sell my car. So I sold my car. Took care of those bills. Well, now the Corvette's gone. Everybody's kind of like, well, you're not our vet anymore. You don't have a Corvette. Technically, I still am Arctic Vet because that that's me, my boys and I, my family, we are Arctic Vet. And in in the name, like we literally make it up. A R C T I C Arctic Audi okay, Audinon, my oldest, Riley, my middle son, and Cohen, my youngest. And then my name is Trevor T. In Christ. It couldn't get any better than that right there. That alone, it just blows my mind. But when I first thought of Arctic Vet, I didn't think of that at all. It actually took three years for me to figure out the body non Riley, Cohen, Trevor. And then I always wondered, what is IC? What, what, what feels IC? And then I figured it out. And in Christ. We're trying, we're doing our best to live in Christ. And so it, it just, it fit perfectly. It fit perfectly. We're waiting on some traffic here. But originally, so the Corvette, it is, whoop. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know if that was gonna work or not. It worked when I was going straight, I just not turning. Arctic came from the Corvette because it was Arctic white. And I thought, you know what, this is great. Arctic Vet, that's cool. Nobody's really using that. I like I Googled it, I YouTubed it. There was like one video of an Arctic White C6 Corvette, and that was it. And I was like, that's that's it. We're going with that. That's our name. It it feels right. Something's just something about it means yes, that's what we need to do. And so here we are. <laughs> We, we have the Arctic Vet YouTube channel, the Arctic Vet family. I mean, it's it's grown, and I know it's not even it's not even that massive yet, but it's so it's so big right now. Like I'm just I'm blown away, and so that's that's where Arctic Vet the name itself is comes from, and and what it's transformed into, what it's what it means now versus what he meant in the beginning but as far as what do we do what do we what do we provide well we started off making how-to videos on the vehicles that I had owned back then which was a Jeep a Jeep Grand Cherokee that man it just every day I was doing something every day it felt like with that thing <laughs> and then the Corvette and so I just made some how-to videos of like changing out lights and this and that on them and you know trying to trying to help people because my interest for YouTube really began with the truck that I had before I created my channel. I had a 98 Sierra, GMC Sierra 1500, the Z71 package, 404, the whole nine yards, right? best like awesome truck in the world and man I, I miss it but here's the thing about it is that it was four by four and I was young 
and I was dumb. Yep, I said I was young and I was dumb. <laughs> and I took it mudding. And there's a video of me mudding it. That's the only video that I still have of that truck. And uh, I spun a bearing. So when I spun the bearing, I also, you know, had a lot of other things go wrong with it. So I ended up rebuilding the motor. I dropped like 10,000 into this truck. And then it came down to the spider injector because it was fuel injected. And that spider injector, it, it just, it had gone bad. It, it had seen its miles. I think we were up to like 170,000 miles or something like that on there. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't rebuild, I didn't like replace every single part in the motor. I replaced what I needed to because, again, I was on a tight budget. Kind of like I am now. It's funny how that works. A little vicious cycle. However, I have a lot less debt now. And that's, that's a good thing. So, anyways, that started going out on me. And the truck would just randomly die. And then I'd have to wait a minute. I'd fire it back up and it'd give me another block and die. And so... I had replaced the fuel pump, the fuel pressure, the fuel lines, they were all good, good to go. And the last thing was the fuel injectors. And I tried seafoam, I, I tried it, it just, it wouldn't cut it. And that part ended up being like $300 shipped. And at the time I was like, you know what, I'm done. I'm not doing it again. I'm not, I'm not tearing in this truck again. I've had it and I sold it. I sold it for 2,500 bucks, something like that. Man, that was the truck that I, the very first vehicle, the very first time I had ever made any sort of video on for YouTube. However, I didn't get to, I lost all that footage of like my how-to stuff on that truck. And what led me to how-tos is, while I was working on this truck, it was my first truck ever rebuilding. And I, I struggled with trying to do research on it, and nobody had videos on it. There are a lot of write-ups on it, which are good. Don't get me wrong, the forms are amazing. However, some people don't learn by reading. They learn by hands-on, by watching. So that's me. I'm that guy. I'm that guy. I'm a hands-on learner. I just, I am, I always have been, and always will be. And so... I wanted to I wanted to help the other people that are like me that need the hands-on visual learning and that's that's the way to go so I thought you know what I'm gonna make a how-to video on how to rebuild this motor how to take out the transmission how to rebuild the transmission how to everything that I did to that truck and I had videos and I'll tell you right now I, I'm glad that I don't have that video the videos of all that time because there was a lot of me sitting under that truck with my hands on my head crying saying bad words <laughs> hitting hitting the truck with tools like you son of a gun <laughs> come on <laughs> just work <laughs> i'm not gonna lie it was yeah it was bad it was bad it probably make really good like video and funny and stuff but i'm I'm not that guy today. I'm just not that guy today anymore. There's times where, yeah, if I'm working on something and I'm struggling, I'll get down on my hands and knees and just bow my head and I'm like, I'll cry and I'm like, God help me out here. And uh, man, I, I don't know what to do. And you take that second right there and then all of that stuff just kind of fades away. You're like, ah, light bulb moment. Or you go get you some lunch or something. But, so that's that's where my inspiration from becoming a YouTuber came from, was that truck. And, and I, I, since then, I've grown to do how-tos on the vehicles that I own, um, like stuff around the house even. I mean, I've done some remodeling stuff recently, and then COVID hit, and I got laid off. And that's when my house remodeling came in a lot. And then I started focusing on my faith. And honestly, that was a big game changer for us. When I started putting my faith into my channel, into the videos, into everything, everything just, 
it's changed. It's changed. And it's amazing. It's amazing change. And I thank God for that change. And I thank you all for that change. And so, I mean, here we are. We're still, still a small channel. Not to monetization yet. Which is alright. You know, I, I really... I really wish that I could get you guys to share a video, share a subscribe link, share uh, share something of ours to help us get get it out there, and then and then ask your friends to share it because that my circle I have reached my circle, and now I need to extend to your circle, and eventually I'm gonna need to extend to your friend circle, and. That's that's how it'll grow. That's how that's it's networking. That's what it is. And so, you know, I I really appreciate it if you guys could share this video, share share your favorite video, share something that you thought, oh man, he really messed that one up, or that was funny. I don't anything. I, I it doesn't bother me at all. You want to go share my very first video? Go right ahead. I mean, just any little bit helps and I appreciate it so we're we're not gonna stop anytime soon we've been doing daily vlogs for a while now we're rolling into little old Mount Ridge here so nice little old town I used to I grew up here my boy is needs to have it though I actually so if you're if you're from Mount Ridge or no Mount Ridge right down this road here on Randall that's where I live yep I live right down that road right down there about where that silver car is at I don't know if you can see it but that's where I live the old fire station's over there man down memory lane again <laughs> but you know so eventually my goals of where I'm going with Arctic Vet is that I want to I want to get to a point where I can do like giveaways like I want to be able to give away kind of like some Mr. B stuff that would be epic now I'm, I'm not gonna be giving away like millions of dollars but it'd be cool it'd be cool anyhow I'm gonna run in here get adjusted right quick by chiropractor and then I'll come back and we'll finish this up it's gonna be a long video I'm sorry it's just it just it has to be Whew. Man, I love going to my chiropractor. It's like, it, most of the time, five minutes. Like, it didn't even take me five minutes. Now, I'm, the drive here is a lot longer, but <laughs> it's worth it. It's worth it. Anyways, where were we? Oh, yeah, that's right. This is going to be a long video, so thank you guys for sticking through it. I, I promise it's, good, it's worth it because all these questions I get asked all the time, and I thought it'd be good to just bring them out there for everybody because maybe y'all are wondering too and if you ever do have questions drop them in the comments below i'm not afraid to answer I promise i don't bite i just like to nibble <laughs> just kidding <laughs> oh, man i feel i feel great now i feel like renewed rejuvenated like we go out and run a marathon not really but Anyhow, I would I would like to get to a point where I could do giveaways. Like, car giveaways would be amazing. I'd love to do that kind of stuff where, you know, you buy a shirt and you get entries per five, ten dollars, whatever, a dollar, whatever it is. Like, those kind of things. I like those. They're really cool. And I would like to... I'd like to do something like that. But I'd also... what. What I think would be awesome is, you know, there's people out there that could use help with stuff at home. Like maybe, maybe they need dishes or maybe they need some groceries. So like give away groceries, I, like a gift card to like say Dylan's or a Walmart or something like that. I think that would be awesome. You know, cars are cool. Cars are cool to give away. Don't get me wrong. I, I'd love to do that, and I hope that someday I can. However, it, there's also the little things that some people like myself struggle with. Like, you need help with groceries sometimes. You need help with your utility bills. So, if 
if I could give away, like, somehow give away something that somebody has, so let's just say, like, $1,000. We give, like, $1,000 away for an electric bill. And we were somehow able to get a hold of their electric company and be like, hey, here's the thousand dollars put it on this account for them please and that would be awesome take care of their electric bill for who knows it could be it could be a month it, it, <laughs> i don't know i don't know <laughs> i don't know if, if anybody racks up a bill that high except for business but yeah, who knows i i think that would be awesome that would be amazing and the way we're going to get there is with our subscribers growing. So with you guys sharing these videos, telling your friends, asking them to subscribe. And I, I know it takes, it, it seems like so, so much to ask somebody to subscribe to a channel. But really, it's just a click. It's two seconds. And it doesn't cost you anything at all. But there's there's those people that just they just won't, and that's okay. That's okay because there's more that will, and those are the people that we're trying to reach out to. Because I'm not even concerned with my watch hours, which are a big thing to become monetized. My goal is to help help spread the word, the gospel of Jesus. And do so in in my own way because I'm not I'm not trying to take you guys to Sunday school. It'd be cool if you guys go. It'd be cool. But I want to show you through my life, through my how I'm living, of what it's like to be a Christian. What it's like to try to be a Christian. To be a child of God. I make mistakes. I have a lot of sin. I've talked a lot about them. I still struggle with them. But you know what? The first step that I do when I encounter something. Lord. Please guide the way. Amen. <laughs> I mean. I'm. That's, that's just how I do it. That's just. That's, that's how it works for me. And if you're a non-believer, that's okay. That's okay, because I still pray for you. I pray for all the haters, everybody that's hurt me, everybody that loves me, everybody that likes me. Uh, God said love everybody. Well, I'm going to love everybody. And so, that's one of my goals with the channel. Well, a couple of them, I suppose. And then to also have something for for the boys when they grow up they can look back and be like wow I remember that dad do you remember that and I'm gonna be old like no can you show me a video <laughs> I hope I don't sound like that I might who knows but that's I don't know and and I feel like this is a way for me to I got a big family okay I got a huge family and there's no way for me to like see every one of them like every day or all week or it's it's hard like even once a month i i wish i wish that i i could make more time and i try but i fail i fail at it bad badly and i feel like this is a way for me to for my for my family members and for my friends that don't see me all the time to to still Oh, okay, that's how Trevor's doing. Cool, cool. That's what he's up to. He's still doing good. And I still, I still, I love y'all. And I hope y'all are doing well. And I hope that I'll see you soon. And one of the best ways to see me is to come out to Cars and Coffee. Because that is, that's also one of my, one of my jobs. It's not a very good paying job. I mean, I might get a dollar for the three hours four hours that I'm there but it's worth so much more than that because I get to meet and talk to all sorts of people about all sorts of things 
and here we are probably like the 30 minute mark so I wasn't really trying to make this a whole hour video but there's a lot to explain and a lot that comes into it so if you guys have any more questions please drop them below shoot me an email at trevor <laughs> at trevor at arcticvet.com don't forget to check out my website get yourself some merch because that is honestly right now that is the most efficient way to support the channel is to go buy some merchandise even even if it's for your dog go buy some merchandise like i i'm a terrible salesman <laughs> all right i'm not as i'm a terrible salesman <laughs> I wear it like every single day. You guys see it every day. I've I've got something Arctic Vet on and I'm my number one buyer. I'm my own seller and I'm my own buyer. And I need you guys to become buyers of my merchandise too. Someday, someday. Even if it's tomorrow. Anyways, I hope that you all have a wonderful wonderful weekend safe weekend it is labor day weekend a lot of people are gonna be heading out to the lakes getting the boats out having some bears cracking some cold ones with friends meanwhile we're just gonna take it easy enjoy the outdoors because to be honest with y'all i don't have the money to go out and go camping and do all that so we might put up our tent in the backyard that's our camping we could do that that's free everything's right there the struggle is real guys and that's why i'm starting to work with my dad because i know that working with dad i can i can make some money but also be there for my boys which i thank you dad thank you i i appreciate it so much the cor the corporate world does not understand don't care to understand the single father living they don't care none of them care None of them. Oh, we're about family. No, you're not. No, you're not. Because if they were about family, guess what? They would be okay with, oh, Trevor, you need off because your kid's sick? All right, can you do something from home? Never got asked that, never. No. Nope. Rant over. <laughs> Anyways, this is a beautiful view here in Kansas. Maybe you don't get it at your house or your state or your country. Shout out to all you out of the U.S. <laughs> Especially Canada and over in Europe. I see you in the Philippines. I see you. I see you. There's a little bit of Kansas for you. So anyhow... I appreciate you guys. I appreciate y'all for watching all the way this long. And to be honest, hopefully, like, maybe you're just listening to this in the car because it's probably the best time. There's really nothing to see. And I... <laughs> I probably should have told you guys that in the beginning. <laughs> oh, well, it's all right. God bless y'all. We'll catch you tomorrow in another daily Arctic Vet video. And if you have made it this far, comment down below. Hashtag I support. Because, man, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Some more. Some little more Kansas. Some people just don't wave. Yeah, that's alright. That's alright. God bless y'all. We'll see you next time. Don't forget, thumbs up. If you like this video, thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what your questions are. Cha cha cha. And then click that red subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified. All right, I'm